Alright lads, today I'm going to be going over a few games I've played in some um, turn fighting aircraft. In my, in my most recent video, I was speaking about energy fighting. And in that video I mentioned how that all fighting really, well all fighting styles, it's a form of turn fighting. Because you need to be mindful of your energy, you need to use your energy. When you have a lot of it, you need to can use it to get the advantage on opponents, but you also need to be wary of going into an engagement with too much energy. We've got four games for you today, I think they're only dead short. This first one, it's not a really good example. So that BF-109, he came into that fight with quite a lot of energy, but then he went into a vertical when I was on his six, and he's just made himself slow. Nothing really to do with turn fighting that, it's just a point, you need, you do need to be mindful of how you use your energy. So we've got a few enemies coming in onto our 6 as we get our first kill. Now I see that F4U and I tell him in chat that he needs to dive, there's no way that I'll be able to help him if he doesn't, there's no way anybody else in our team will be able to. So I'm going to turn back in, I'm not too scared about the TA-154. He has got a big guns, but he can't really turn against me. So instead, the Spear for a 9, he comes off our F4. He starts focusing on me. He doesn't show that he's focusing on me. But I don't take the bait. You should never have turned back onto him there, because that TA-154 would have ate us up. So we extend. Dodge the TA-154. Now, I thought this TA-154 was going to carry on flying straight ahead. But instead, he's, he's going to turn back onto us. So all that speed that TA-154 just uh, had, he's just lost it in that turn. And that is the fundamental flaw to turn fighters, really. It's once they, they are very, very good at turning, but when you do turn, you just lose all your energy. You can't really get that energy back easily. The Spitfires, they're very good at turning, but they've just not got engine power to them. They're not massively accelerators, they're not like the uh, later model Griffins. And that is fundamentally how you kill turn fighters when, you, when you're in a Boom and Zoomer or an energy fighter. You force them to turn, you force them to go low where they can't regain any energy. And when they're low and they're slow, and they, can't, they no longer have that enough energy to turn outside of you. Like a Spitfire, if it's going 300 kilometers an hour, it won't out turn, say, a uh, a BF-109 going 500. The faster a plane is, the better it can turn usually, unless it, unless it isn't, unless it's compressing, sorry. So you need to have energy in order to turn effectively. Now these two BF-109s below me, they're fighting in the horizontal against an F-6F. Now that is a turn fighter. So while they're all turning, they're blowing their energy. So the role should be reversed here. This is what you should be doing in a BF-109, booming, zooming. But instead, the BF-109s, probably not very experienced pilots because they're t turning the horizontal. But we get our third kill. You notice that when we went into that engagement, we had a little bit too much speed. So we, we went back up, lost our energy, then came back down on top of them again. If I tried to get a shot on going 600 kilometers an hour, I'd have just gone straight into the ground. So you always need to be wary of just what energy state you are in, because it can be used against you. Now this is our second game, it's quite an old game this, but it's still relevant, it's not. It's the G55S, it's the uh, Italian premium plane. It's very, very similar to a Spitfire, this plane. It has pretty much all the same characteristics. I think it has got a little bit better dive though, and it's got better guns, that's for sure. But it's very good at turning, but it's got a very, very bad um, vertical energy retention. Meaning if you put this plane into a climb, or a steep climb, it loses its energy quite fast. It does turn pretty well, however. But as you can see, there's a typhoon coming in. Now he has all the advantages here. He's going a lot faster than me. He had a lot more height than me. And what does he do with that? He puts it into a big old horizontal turn and he's just blowing all that energy. So every advantage he has, he's just 
give it away pretty much. I am a better turner in this Typhoon, so I will eventually win this dogfight, even if pilot skill was the same. Now I made some mistakes here. I should be going more vertical. I know that sounds stupid, considering I've just told you that it's got very bad energy retention. But here, we want to get rid of our energy. We want to get behind him. We want him to get in front of us. I think we're going to do that very shortly. Now, I almost could have died here. That was my fault. I didn't dump enough speed. But as you can see, with our flap use and our engine, we can stay behind him pretty much. I think we're going to get onto his six very, very soon. Our friendly comes in but doesn't get any shots. And this is where I know that I've got him here. I'm going into a full vertical while he's still in the horizontal. So we're going to stall now and he's, we're going to come back down on top of him pretty much. So what can we say about this fight? First of all, when that typhoon came into me, instead of doing that big old horizontal turn, he should have gone into the vertical, looped back down and then engaged me again. He'd have had a lot more speed than me. He could have just boom and zoomed me. Secondly, he should have turned more in the horizon, uh, more in the vertical. I think he has got better energy retention than me. He certainly has a better engine than me, so he probably would have won that um, in the end. But just because you have more energy than an opponent, especially in a turn fighter, it doesn't really give you an advantage. Like if you if you've got the energy advantage, say altitude and speed over an opponent, and you're in a turn fighter, you don't have to turn. You can play it like a BF9, you can go down, maybe shoot a little bit. If you miss, just go into a vertical loop back down. Just because you're in a turn fighter doesn't mean you have to play it as a dedicated turn fighter. Now that Typhoon, he is a he is a turn fighter really. Say he's 80% turn fighter, 20% boom and zoomer. Typhoons aren't fully boom and zoomers. Fact and reality, the ground attackers, but that's neither here nor there. So what can we say about this game? Now we're in a completely different game and we're in a full up tier. He's flying the plane that we were playing last game and I'm in a F6F, 3.7 British Premium. Now his problem there was he did a big old turn at bloody speed as well as being situationally, situationally sorry, unaware. We'll see in a later game where because turn fighting is more of a one-on-one -on -one type of fighting, you can't really turn fight against a lot of people unless you're uh, you're very well. You can. It's just very very hard because you need to keep track of several different people. With booming and zooming, you can effectively just you need to be more on the bar real with turn fighting just because of how it's like. It's like playing a game like in Skyrim where you play with light armor and light load. It's like very, very nippy, but you're easy to kill. It's pretty, might be a bad analogy, but. So we killed the bf 9 F4, I think. We've got another F4 behind us, and we've got a G6 in front, of, well, G2, sorry, behind us as well. So I'm taking these low, and I'm getting some speed. I know at these speeds, those bf 9s will start compressing a little bit, whereas I can still turn. We take it into a vertical slightly to get rid of some speed because we want to get behind him. And we've just done that. You notice that he didn't really go vertical. Now he tries to do it here, but he just we've bled off too much speed. And it might look like here that we're going to stall. But he's not going to be able to turn as good as us. We use some flaps, we get around, put a crit into him. I think he's damaged his elevator or tail or something. But here, my poor Rain. Doesn't matter though, we're going to get the kill very shortly. A lot of people underestimate this plane, the F6F, or the Hellcat. People, because it's American, people think it's a, a boom and zoom fighter, and it's not, it's a, it's a turn fighter pretty much. Got very good flaps, not really very fast though. Again, like the other turn fighters. But we see this... Um, BF from not BF from nine. Fuck Wolf coming in. Oh, he's got a lot of speed on me. And what does he do when he's got that speed? He puts it straight into a vertical. 
and bleeds all of his speed. He should have just kept on going straight into the sea. We wouldn't have been able to get a shot on him. I didn't get the kill that one, but my friendlies did. War Thunder is a team game, so what does it matter? That's the end of this game. That P47 behind me just climbs to space for 20 minutes and I just quit because I couldn't be asked. But... So we're here in the Boomerang. This is a bit of a peculiar plane. I do look, really like this plane. Not sure I'd recommend people buying it just because this is pretty much the, the definition of... It's like it's allergic to energy. The slight little movement you make and you just bleed speed. It's good when you go into a fight when you've climbed and you can dive and get a bit of energy. But once you're low, you can't really regain that energy whatsoever. Pretty weak armament of only 120, 120 rounds of 20 mil, sorry. But you do get 4,000 7.62s. In here, it's me against the Spitfire. So he does have the advantage here. He's faster. He's a higher BR. Got the same guns as me. And he, had, he came into this fight with too much speed. He just can't turn as good as me. What he should have done here is he should have just broke off. He should have just ran a little bit, extended, then come back in. But he's, he's insisting on turning with me, even though he's got more speed. And as you can see now, he's got himself slow and he's dead. Now I was talking before about how I need to be situationally aware. We've got a HE-112 coming in straight away. We're going to do the exact same thing. He's going a lot faster than us and he can't turn as well. And instead of just trying to run, he just, well, he does try to run here, but he doesn't extend far enough. You can see he gets away from us. We're not just hitting him here, really. Then he goes into a vertical, just bleeds all that speed he had, and I'm dead straight away. So I hope this video gave you a little bit of understanding of how I turn fight. It is a mindset of how you use your energy and I think it's a very good fighting style to have. Because like you say, you can if you're in a decent point well that does look impressive to do that. Probably because they weren't as experienced, shall we say. Probably not my skill. But it does feel good when you get two quick kills like that. You feel like you are getting good at the game. So I hope I gave you a little bit of insight into turn fighting and a bit of the fury towards it like i say thanks for watching and i'll see you in another video